Evening everybody, my name is Carl Two-Tone Loran. I'm here to talk about what in the friggity friggity frig do those motorcycle hand signals mean. The reason I'm doing this presentation is we're less than 100 days away from the official start of motorcycle riding season, which is May, which is also Motorcycle Awareness Month. It's about sharing the road. We want the motorists to enjoy the road as much as we motorcyclists do. So what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about the signals and what they do for you as motorists to help us all enjoy the road together. I also want to talk about the fact that May is also Female Ridership Month. Where we celebrate the female motorcycle rider. Contrary to the myth, women have been riding as long as men. Sorry, guys. It's true, and we celebrate the fact they do that in May as well. So let's go ahead and get started. My personal favorite signal is the motorcycle wave. Nothing more than people seeing each other on the road, a little solidarity saying, hey, I recognize you if no other vehicle on the road does. It's just a way to say, hey, and they recognize you. And they're as different as the individual rider. So if you think of a social environment where people wave to each other, that's what we're doing. The next one is extremely important. It's the stop. If you are a motorist and have ever driven a vehicle, you should know three, left, right, and stop. What I want to do with this signal is ensure that we meet only in a wonderful setting like this. No other way at all. So that's what it's all about. The next one is where we're telling you, and this is typically with multiple riders, that the fuel, we need to fuel up the beast. Tank is low, we're going to pull over at the next possible place to get gas. That's all that is, so you're going to be knowing that they're getting off the road. The next one is extremely important for motorists in the fact that if you see this signal in a group of motorcyclists, we're going to single file typically to avoid something. And if we have to avoid it, you might have to as well. So if you see this signal, take extra care in what we're doing. Of course, when we get out of that situation, we go back to double file, get back into a formation and continue to enjoy ourselves down the road. The next one I'm going to talk about, we talked about fueling up the vehicle, the next one is fueling ourselves or the refreshment stop. <laughs> I've got to take a break and get something in my system to keep me going as well. Of course, conversely with that one, the next signal that we're going to talk about <laughs> is the one where we let things go, or as my girlfriend loves to call it, the comfort stop. It's very, see her back there doing it right now. It's letting you know that we've got to stop right now. It's, you know, we've got to just basically find the nearest available exit to relieve ourselves of the fuel we put in earlier in the refreshment stop. That's what we're talking about doing. Now also, one of the things you've probably seen on many construction sites is this symbol. And you're going, what the heck is he doing, trying to fly? No, it's slow down. Very simple, if you see motorcyclists doing that, we're probably going to go to that single file and go around some particular obstacle. So it's, if you kind of think about it as a sentence, slow down, we've got to go to single file, and then go to double file, and the next signal, which is up on the screen, speed up. It's time to get on the road and get going so we don't impede traffic, and again, enjoy the road like we all want to do. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the high beams. This is either you're blinding me in front or you're blinding me from the rear. So it's high beams are on. Very simple, easy one to know. The other signal that we're going to go into is one called, we're going to tell you to go around, take the lead. If the group is too slow for traffic because we have, say, an inexperienced rider or the vehicle needs to be limped to a repair facility, whatever it may be, if you see this, it's pretty simple. We're telling you, you need to go around. So that's what that is. This next signal you can, of course, ignore because no one ever drives for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles with their turn signal on. Never seen it, so you can kind of, it's just a filler for a couple of seconds. Of course, no one will ever be driving under turn signal on, so you can ignore it. You know, that's what it is. This one is one of my favorites. It's a pullover, basically telling the group we're going to pull over. If you use it in a sentence, we're pulling over because I've got to go. We're pulling over, so I need to go right now. So again, when you put these signals together, it helps you as the motorist understand what we're doing as a group of motorcyclists on the road. Of course, they're the unofficial symbols. Some groups have it. This is wildlife on the road. Everybody knows that you're number one symbol, so I don't think I need to say what it is. You know, police officers coming at you, other things. Check with the group you're riding with, they'll be able to tell you. And again, the goal is to keep off the endangered species list. We don't want to be polar bears. We want to share the road with you. So if you want to know more or get more than a five-minute stand-up of this stuff, basically there's some great websites to go to. For the state of Alaska, we have abetabalaska.com. We have the Motorcycle Safety Foundation, or MSF.org, Master Strategy Group, which is a group of instructors that put it together, and Motorcycle Safety Info as those. And if it took too long for you to pick up all that information on this last slide, you can always get a hold of me, Carl Two-Tone Lorraine, Hot Biker on Twitter, hotbiker.com, or Two-Tone at hotbiker.com. 
That's my time, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for a wonderful experience. Appreciate you letting me be up here, and we'll be seeing more presenters. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.